Okay, let's get started on our rack and snail movement. chime mechanism with the auto correction. As the center cam turns, it's moved ahead about 10 degrees. Now, when it drops off of this for load, this course, we're going to utilize this movement. It's a three five one zero three zero. All right, let's take a look at our triple chime movement. Now we can get to setting up our control cams. Cam straight up. Our half hour, it'll play eight. Pop that right off of there. But, uh, let's take our rack hook off. Pay attention to these springs that they don't go flying around the shop and or get lost in the cleaning process. Which brings up a good point. Uh, these levers, if they if this movement has been sprayed down with oil, which happens, seems to happen often when I get them in the shop, they've been mistreated. Or somebody has oiled those posts, uh, there's gonna be sticky oil in there. So you wanna make sure you get those cleaned out. Uh, I'll run them through the ultrasonic tank, but I'll also go through them by hand to make sure there's no sticky goo in there and that way they will function properly. Good to go. That's where we want it. All right, now that we have our center cam on, we've checked our cannon. We know that our minute hand will go on, won't rub on our cannon. That looks good. We have our shake over this plate and we have that. One more very important piece to look at is going to be our shake inside the plates. Let me show you how what we want to find on that. Okay, I put one screw on here, or one nut anyway, to make sure we stay together tight. Okay, we want to look closely at our shoulder on our arbor with our shake in between the plates and where our center cam is. We do not want the center cam to touch the plate. So by pushing this all the way to the back plate, we want our shoulder on our arbor to hit the plate first or to be the only thing hitting the plate. And the center cam still away, not touching. If that ends up touching when we're into our, before we get to our shoulder, we're going to bind up and it's going to cause problems. Let's see if we can see that a little bit closer. And see that center cam right there. That's pretty good. Okay. What we're looking at there. Our shoulder hits the back plate first and our center cam is still away from the front plate. Very important to look at that. Do all that before we assemble and we'll be good to go.